new developments about Tigray viewers. Firstly, General Sid Khan of Tigray Defense Forces has spoken with the Reuters. Just a few minutes ago, Reuters confirmed it's a telephonic conversation with General Sid Khan. What did General Sid Khan say about uh, Tigray, about uh, likely offensive by TDF on Western Tigray? I'll have a look at that. Secondly, viewers, uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, uh, has held a telephonic conversation with Anthony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State. This is the first contact between uh, U.S. Secretary of State and Prime Minister of Ethiopia after the fall of Makale. A statement has been issued by the U.S. State Department after this telephonic conversation. This statement has one new point, very interesting new point. I'll have a look at that. Before having a look at these two developments, viewers, one clarification. In a previous video, I quoted the New York Times. The New York Times had claimed that before the start of war in Tigray on the 4th of November, Chris Coons, a U.S. Senator, had contacted Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed. Back then, U.S. had received some advance intelligence about likely war in Tigray. And Chris Coons had warned Prime Minister of Ethiopia against starting this new war. The New York Times has clarified that this telephonic conversation between Chris Coons, U.S. Senator, and Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, it took place after the start of war. So, New York Times has clarified its earlier story. So, that is why I am repeating New York Times clarification. It does not mean, views, that Ethiopian government launched offensive on Tigray on the 4th of November in response to TPLF and TDF members storming Northern Command on the 3rd of November. No, according to my research, Ethiopian government was preparing for this war even before November preparations were underway. Views. Uh, now, uh, today's two stories. General Said Khan has talked uh, to the writers. Its first uh, contact uh, of General Said Khan with international media since the start of this war. We have seen that mostly Geta Choreda and uh, Debrasian Gabriel Mikhail gave interviews to Reuters, CNN and other international news outlets. Uh, it's the first time that a TDF journal has talked to an international news outlet since the start of Tigray War. Seth Khan is a key figure now. Viewers. Now, what did he say? He called for a negotiated ceasefire, viewers. He says that we want political solution to this conflict. We are waiting. We are restraining ourselves. International community must understand the gravity of this situation. If we cannot resolve it politically, we will definitely go for military solution. Very mature talk uh, of Sad Khan viewers. He did not threaten anyone. We saw a statement uh, from uh, Amhara state president today and yesterday. He threatened TPLF in his statements. He said, uh, Volkayet Raya would be a graveyard of TPLF. Instead, Sad Khan talked very maturely. Viewers. He, in fact, tried to mobilize the international community. He is sending a message to the international community that it's time to intervene. That is what I have been saying for the past few days. Viewers, that international community starts issuing statements when wars break out. Why does international community uh, remain silent before the start of this war? Now, when everyone knows that Tigray Defense Forces, Amhara Forces, they are heading towards Volkayet, why is that international community is silent? Only US is proactive. Other countries are doing nothing. Where is African Union? 
where are ethiopian neighbors this is the time for intervention otherwise we are heading towards a new and deadly phase of this war seth khan's conversation with uh, writers was uh, a sort of message to international community now some critics of uh, tplf and tigray are saying that this message should have come from dabrasian and gatta choreda the uh, dabrasian is the elected leader of of, of tigray but nothing wrong with uh, sadkan talking to reuters he sent a very positive message to us now let's see how international community response uh, response to this uh, request and call of jan sadkan views where is sadkan no one knows reuters says that he uh, contacted via satellite phone from some undisclosed location he must be somewhere in tigray organizing his troops uh, no doubt that tigray defense forces are reorganizing they're preparing for another phase of this war just like amhara forces aratian forces ethiopian national defense forces organizing in western tigray in volkayet homera uh, and, and sagadevius now uh, second news story is about telephonic conversation between anthony blinken and prime minister of ethiopia abiy ahmed uh after this conversation us state department issued a statement views the statement says that the us will not back any change in internal and external borders of ethiopia by force or in contravention of ethiopian constitution this line is a new line uh, other things mentioned in the statements include uh, all old demands of the us like uh, withdrawal of aratian forces amhara forces uh, investigations into war crimes unfettered access uh, humanitarian access this new line is an addition that ethiopian internal and external borders must not be changed what is the meaning of this new line that ethiopia's uh, internal external borders should not be changed uh what i have understood viewers is that uh, when us is saying that uh, internal borders of ethiopia must not be changed it means that tigray's borders must be restored as they stood on the 4th of november so here us seems to be backing uh, tplf's claim for western tigray though uh, statement does not mention this, this this thing openly but if you're saying that ethiopian internal border should not be changed by force so it means you're saying that tigray's border should remain the same secondly uh, when the us says that external borders of ethiopia should not be changed it means that uh, tigray should not announce independence if tigray announces independence ethiopia's external borders will be changed so in my view anthony blinken us secretary of state has told prime minister of ethiopia that us is neither in support of independent tigray nor us is in support of amhara and uh, uh ethiopian federal forces being in control of western tigray us wants tigray's border as they stood on the 4th of november and us wants tigray to be part of ethiopia i think for watching